Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers. Then the negative of a minus b is equal to b minus a. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, in this video, we are going to be using the following axioms. Axioms 1 and 2 are just the commutative and associative laws. Axiom 4 tells us that there exists a real number, which we call 0, that has the property that x plus 0 is equal to x for all real numbers x. And axiom 5 tells us, for all real numbers x, there exists a real number, which we call the negative of x, that has the property that x plus the negative x is equal to 0. Now, using axiom 5, our definition of subtraction is as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. We define a minus b to be a plus the negative of b. Now, we're also going to be using a fact which we have proven, and that is the cancellation law of addition. Suppose a, b, and c are real numbers. If a plus b is equal to a plus c, then b is equal to c. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, the way we're going to prove that these two guys are equal is as follows. We're going to show that a minus b plus b minus a is equal to a minus b plus the negative of a minus b. From here, we can apply the cancellation law of addition and cancel out the a minus b's. So we're left with b minus a equals the negative of a minus b, which is exactly what we want. Now, to show that these two guys are equal, we are going to establish a chain of equalities. And through that chain of equalities, we are going to be using axioms 1, 2, 4, and 5 and the definition of subtraction. Now first, by the definition of subtraction, a minus b is equal to a plus the negative of b, and b minus a is equal to b plus the negative of a. And then, by axiom 2, we can move these parentheses around a plus the negative of b plus b. And then, by axiom 2 again, we can move these parentheses around the negative of b plus b. And then, by axiom 1, the negative of b plus b is equal to b plus the negative of b. And then by axiom 5, b plus the negative b is equal to 0. And then by axiom 4, a plus 0 is equal to a. And then by axiom 5, a plus the negative a is equal to 0. But then by axiom 5 again, 0 is equal to a minus b plus the negative of a minus b. And so... Through this chain of equalities, we have established that a minus b plus b minus a is equal to a minus b plus the negative of a minus b. And from here, we're in a position to apply the cancellation law of addition. Applying the cancellation law of addition, we can cancel out the a minus b's, so we're left with b minus a equals the negative of a minus b. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.